Whales and big spenders are a part of every gacha game. In fact, the only way the game survives is if people spend way too much money on what amounts to predatory gambling practices. Of course, the reward those players get is that they can always be at the top of the leaderboard, smacking down peasants with their wallets. But I'm here to say enough. I'm here to take a stand for the little people. I'm here to show you how to build a free-to-play account that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys. The biggest advantage whales have over free-to-play is that they have more summons. By virtue of that, they have a deeper hero pool, and should have their hero's ultimate moves maxed out. So in order to compete with them, you must first remove ultimates from the equation. There are three ways to stop a character from using their ultimate move. One, use abilities that deplete the ultimate gauge. This is why I run Red Escanor on my PvP team. When his charge and fire is at rank 2 or 3, he removes ultimate points from all characters on the field. This is a great hero to have, and you can get him through the coin shop. Second, you can use hard CC to stop the actions of the opponent. This includes stun, freeze, and petrification, which plenty of units carry. Last, just kill them. Death is the hardest CC. They can't ult you if you focus them down. Once ultimate moves are off the table, the next advantage to tackle is the closet advantage. In PvP, the equipment and enchantment advantage is neutralized, meaning that units should be on fairly even terms if they're max level and fully awakened. However, closet stats really mess things up. Take a look here at Gila. I don't use her very often because I have better units, but she is a viable choice for free-to-play accounts. She has a massive amount of costumes, weapons, and cosmetics that can be earned either with evolving, affinity, fight festival points, or gold. All of these additional stats get added to the character, and those carry over into PvP. On top of that, you can also use items to upgrade these extra items and their accompanying stats. Whales may be able to deck out their characters, but the top meta picks don't have as many outfits as some of the non-standard ones do. You can win a fight just by playing dress up. The last thing to consider is hero affinity. Once you have heroes picked out that can deplete ults, have lots of weird outfits, you still have to find ones that can make tag teams for extra damage. Let's go back to our girl Gila here for example. Gila can be paired up with Hauser for a boost in stats as well as a boost to her ultimate damage. This means that Hauser will also have to be leveled up as his stats impact the increase Gila receives. In order to check out the best association for your character, click or press on them and head over to the association tab where it will give you in-depth stat boosts for each association. With these tips, you are much closer to being able to compete with the heavy hitters. Here's the thing though. Temper your expectations. At the end of the day, the game is rigged to benefit those who spend money on it. This guide is just to get you a little bit closer, more efficiently. But instead of looking at what you don't have, focus on maximizing what you do have and going from there. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.